I experimented with one of my houses that we left the reeds out the entire season long. So oh, no! this is now into March. And the question is, well, what's kind of gone on? And part of it is just sorting things out. But some observations, one of them, as you, um, if you don't want to go out and try to use a cocoon gauge or something, but I'm, I'm trying to see, listen to these sounds. But listen to this. Empty. Okay, clearly these two are empty and be reusing those again. Um, but I went through and found mason bees, so spring somethings, all leaf cutters, summer somethings, and inside here I have uh, grass wasps and other types of wasps are all inside here, so those are all summer. And then here's kind of a sad observation that when you look inside here, you can see early spring on the inside of these reeds, early spring, but then if the mason bee finished here and then a leaf cutter came in, finished in the afternoons or later on in the summer. So either the mason bee is going to try to chew through these and kill these bees, or in the spring, these guys are going to come out and just die because they couldn't make it. So if I don't harvest and open up all of these, I'm relegating a, a lot of mason bees to death just so because they, they can't get out. But uh, the final little moment is at least all of my spring bees that I'm comfortable with, I've opened up all of their reeds. So the pests are kind of still in here, but no one's going to be reusing these reeds. They're going to have to go out and use the uh, ones that were empty from last year.